Hey, what's going on guys? I want to to show you how to do a whitewash door. Um, I know when I was trying to do one myself, um, it was kind of hard to find a video to look up how to do a whitewash door and look actually really rustic. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I did mine and I think it turns out pretty cool. First thing you wanna do is you wanna see, you wanna check and see, um, make up your mind what you wanna put for a, a color for underneath the white paint that you wanna apply. Um, for me, I'm choosing um, this glaze here when you buy. You buy this glaze right at Lowe's um, by Valspar. It's an antiquing glaze. It's more of a black, which is the color I'm going for with this one. <laughs> but yeah, you can use any kind of stain. Um, whatever, whatever color you're trying to go for, for underneath, as far as the rustic look. Um, so what I do, because for this wood, I'm using pine. Um, as you can see, pine has a lot of knots. Um, I think pine has more character. Um, it is cheaper, more affordable. So if you want to make a business, I mean, you want to, every, mostly everybody wants to be uh, affordable within their budget. Now, I'll say if somebody wants to come in with dark walnut or whatever uh, lumber, obviously they already know coming in the budget what that's going to be like. Um, so for this project, we're using pine. So what I'm doing in this is I'm using a brush, um, really fine brush. I think these are like a dollar at Lowe's. Um, so that's why I'm using this for this, this part. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the glaze and I'm going over the knots and I make sure I get into the knots. Um, and then I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then wipe it off with just a rag. All right, now that we've got all of our knots with our uh, glaze, now we're gonna apply our white paint. Now the paint I use is a chalky finish um, by Krylon. I also bought that at uh, um, Lowe's. I've been using it. I haven't had any problems with it yet. It looks pretty good. Um, they only come, I've only seen them come in quartz. Maybe they got more, I haven't had time to look yet. I bought two quartz here, which is probably gonna be enough to do these two doors I got. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention on the last part was now, when you're wiping off your glaze on your knots, make sure you, you're kind of going to want to wipe them uh, vertically or downward um, because it's supposed to be a weathered look. Outside, if you look at a, a barn door or whatever, anything that's been weathered, usually it's been um, from the rain, the rain that gets on it and then washes down and goes all, uh, down, the, down the doors or whatever. Um, so that's why I wipe it downward. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, it's totally up to you. That's just a suggestion. It's whatever you want. Uh, so this is what I use and I'll show you how I uh, apply this. Um, now I do this in, in steps. Um, it's going to be a different layers because it's to get a weathered look. You're not going to be able to you just put on one coat and then it look weathered. Um, it doesn't work that way. So I'm gonna show you how to do the first one. So what I do, use this. Open this cord here. So what I find that worked for me was when you get close, let me bring this closer so you can see a little bit better. Sorry about that. So when you get close to the knots, um, what I seem to use as far as technique is wherever you don't see the, the dark, uh, there's just a natural look is where I put a heavy coat of white. Um, so I go around the knots. Now I get close up to where the stain is or whatever you want to call the glaze. I go around it. That way I cover all the natural color. 
It's a long process. This is not a, a quick, easy put it on and uh, you're gonna get amazing results. Um, if there is, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> so what I tend to do here, now when I go over the dark, um, the glazed parts, I, I wipe off as much paint as I can get. And then when I get close to the spot, I kind of go over it a little bit and try to blend the paint in with the knot. So you can kind of see how it's starting to blend in together. Um, and it's gonna be a process because this is just the first coat. Um, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna show you how what the whole door looks like when I'm done the first coat. All right, so now as you can see, um, this is the first layer of white paint I got done. It's finally dried. Did both, both doors. Um, so now I'm gonna show you the second layer, how I do it. All right. So using the same white paint, same chalk finish paint, you can see when it dries, it dries very obviously chalky. Um, it kind of gives it that weathered look. Some places you can see how it's uh, the paint went on thinner than the others. So this is why you do multiple coats to get a solid base coloring, um, plus that whitewash look. So I'll show you how I do this part. 